Welcome, I'm Jackie from Affordable Staff and I'm here with Jibran. How are you, Jib? Hi, Jack. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good too. So a number of our clients have been asking about what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about yourself a little bit? Yes, so my name is Jibran and I'm one of the team members of Affordable Staff here in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been working with us? It's funny to think through, but uh, and time flies so fast. Mm -hmm. uh, I've not noticed that I've been here for two years now. Wow, does it feel like two years already? Not really, actually. Uh, maybe because I'm enjoying my job. That's good. I love my job, so that's why. Yeah, same here. <laughs> so, what are you doing <clears throat> currently and with your previous role in this business? I was previously associated with uh, one of the most prominent um, real estate agencies in, in Sydney mm -hmm. and uh, it's a huge company in Sydney so it's been a real pleasure to work with them but now I'm a lead um, real estate trainer for affordable staff. Yeah, so you mentioned about working with that client before. You really have a lot of idea in real estate. Yeah. So, what do you think is the difference with property management, real estate here in Philippines versus in Australia? Good question. Uh, it's a big difference because here in the Philippines, if you want to rent a property, you can just go directly to a landlord and mm -hmm. you know talk, mm -hmm. talk to the person and. Uh, maybe some paperwork mm -hmm. but it's a very simple conversation and negotiation you can rent the property right away mm -hmm. but it, in Australia there's a system and an organization that facilitates you know transactions between landlord and tenant mm -hmm. so if you want to rent a property you have to go through application process mm -hmm. Uh, you have to be subject for, you know, your application is subject for approval by the landlord. So your employment and tenancy history will be checked. Okay. And, you know, some of your personal referees will be called as well. So it's really more, um, they have a lot of process and... Yes. It's, a, it's a, an organization that, you know, uh, do all these stuff for the owner. So that the owner ha doesn't have to be, you know, to think uh, and to be stressed with his property. Right. Some someone is taking care of his property. Right, and it's not like that much here in the not Philippines. Not really popular in the in the Philippines. Yeah. So talking about real estate in Australia, what do you think is the reason why they are outsourcing with us? Oh, so I. Property management in Australia is complex structure, and uh, you know staff staff are overworked. Usually, you know they work so much more than what they get to be paid for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of mm -hmm. things to be to be done inside right. the office, and I have heard that there are, there are shortages of employees. Property managers. Of property okay. managers, actually. So. So I do think that real estate in Australia are is outsourcing because they want to be efficient and they want to be more effective right. with the process. Mm -hmm. Like get a virtual person to do the things that the property management uh, managers are usually doing, but but at the same time not having to pay so much more. Right. Yeah. But there are also some limitations, I think, because um, property managers, they are, there are some tasks or jobs that they are doing that they have to be physically there. And yeah, the that's right. And the assistant can't do that. That's right. So you are more of the support. Support, role. yeah, assisting um, the jobs that, uh, you know, can be uh, overwhelming for the property managers to do all these things. How do you think we benefit our clients? So previously as a VA, there are a lot of things that we do on a daily, on a regular basis that actually really assist and support the team members. Mm -hmm. So we can benefit the client by taking or freeing up their time. Right. That instead of them doing archiving, documentation, mm -hmm. and all these admin uh, jobs. Right that they can focus on a more client-based uh, activities. They can more focus on customer service, how they can value their, their client more. 
Yeah, so it's more of a collaboration of what you can do here and versus to what they can yeah. also do. That's right. All right. What What do you think um, the industry thinks of what you represent for them? You know, there are many misconceptions about uh, outsourcing here in the Philippines uh, by the people there in Australia. And my hunch is that they think that uh, we take their jobs, replace uh -huh. the, the property managers, but it's not actually the case. Uh, three things. One is there are income generating activities that property managers do right. there in the field. They yeah. have to be there present physically. Mm -hmm. Second is they have to, there are client facing activities mm -hmm. that they have to be involved in person they have to have a face-to-face -face conversation mm -hmm. so these are these two things cannot be done and cannot be replaced by virtual assistants and the third is underneath all these are the jobs that can be outsourced that if you outsource these jobs it can really uh, free so much time for the property managers and at the end of the day they are not exhausted they still yeah. have this work-life work, balance. Work-life balance. Yeah. Same with you too. Yeah, same with here. <laughs> All right. So, um, when you were working with your clients, what are the types of jobs that you were performing for them on a daily basis? Yeah, on a daily basis, we do uh, reference checking. So we process applications. We also do rent arrears. Um, we uh, process. Vacate, vacate notices, termination notice, lease renewal documentations, um, rent increases, and invoices. Oh, well, that's really a lot. Yeah, a lot of uh, things to do. So you're really a vital part of the team that if you are not there, let's say for example, an inevitable absence, then it really affects the business somehow. Yes, it, it's actually a vital part because without you, you know, the the workflow mm -hmm. is disrupted. Correct. So yeah. it's a big help for the property managers. That's right. And so when you were working with them, I believe you have tools or softwares. Yeah. What are those that you are using? So we, I were, I was using um, REST. I was using uh, Microsoft Outlook, where we have this email exchange. Mm -hmm. We also use Skype and Vocus, which mm -hmm. is our phone. But now that I'm a lead a real estate trainer, I get to be involved more closely and comprehensively with different tools that other uh, clients that we have here use. Yeah. So I'm just uh, lucky to have to have to be associated with talented and highly skilled uh, individuals here. And now. yeah, what are the examples of those tools that? you are also aware of. So now I'm more uh, involved with Property Me, Property, Property Tree, okay. uh, Tika, IRE, and Console. So these are the systems now that I'm uh, trying to learn every day. That's really good. And yeah. not all property management um, use all the same tools. They use different yes. types so of tools. Yes, so tools are more of, it's relative to to the client, okay. so it's uh, and especially the jobs are also client-based. Correct. So there are different um, systems and um, you know pro processes mm -hmm. that uh, each client has unique to each client. That's very good that you have know-how um, on these tools. Yes. And so now that you are the lead trainer mm -hmm. here in our local office here, how do you support our new team members? You know, it's funny because I remember when I started as a VA with a client, I was overwhelmed with so much to do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we have this tendency to fear what we don't know and what we, and to fear what we're not good at. Yeah. So I'm, I was uh, fortunate to, to have been given support by, um, you know, great, amazing team members here. So it was a smooth uh, transition. That's good. And now that I'm the one giving support, 
I think that what I can do is to impart what I know, especially right. my background with real estate and property management, mm -hmm. and to be really available for the person, uh, for our clients, and for yeah. the team member. Yeah. And also, I think it's important for us to mention about Damien Barnett, who has been in the industry for more than 15 years, and he's a major support for us too in the real estate um, industry. Whenever we have asked, we ask questions related to yeah, we get management. the answer right away. Yeah. That's right. So, how about problems? How do you overcome problems? So, problems are inevitable. Mm -hmm. We we encounter them daily, and. Uh, you have to find your. You have to identify what the problem is really is, mm -hmm. the root cause. Correct root cause analysis. Yeah, and deal with it with optimism mm -hmm. and professionalism. Right. Then you have to communicate. You have to talk to your client. You have to have an open conversation and be proactively engaged. Yeah. And then we have this um, innovation. Mm -hmm. So problems. Uh, nowadays, in this day and age, we uh, problems are opportunities for us to be creative, mm -hmm. resourceful, and to be, you know, um, to easily um, get there and mm -hmm. do it. You have to have this will to really embrace it yeah. right away, and and it makes everything more efficient, and you can spread, you know, positivity. Can you say you've been enjoying and growing um, in your professional career too? Yes, I am. Actually, uh, I'm not here now if yeah. I have not enjoyed my my job. That's and right. I'm also grateful grateful for the people surrounding mm -hmm. me because they've been very encouraging. They've been so gracious mm -hmm. to say that um, uh, we can all do this together. That's right. We team. can support each other. Yep. Teamwork indeed. Well, thank you very much, Jib. Do you have any questions for My me? Pleasure. No, I don't have questions. All right. Okay, so this is Jackie from Affordable Staff, and talk soon.